Apparently, Spawn wants to be Sifu meets John Wick, and if you haven't realized, I'm back like vertebrae or naughty, and because of that, uh, we're gonna talk about the story. Like Wet Dreams on 2014 Forest Hills Drives, or Shireen, aka Master Splinter, y'all know, shredding our spine V card. Yo, what? Yeah, he <sighs> just chatting. Pause, right? Pause? Yeah, just yes. in case. Better to be safe than sorry. True. It seems Spine's story is about our main character, Redline, fighting against an autocratic AI government to rescue her brother. Now, we don't know if we've stepped into what happened on Monday or behind enemy lines. Point is, we're gonna be doing a lot of illegal shit that's actually justifiable. And what's nice is our main character will never get lonely because the eponymous spine will always be on our backs. <laughs> yeah, I know, like Megumi and Shudder, which does not bode well for the POC audience. <laughs> As an American brother, I would never be in Shudder. But regardless of that fact, the spine will be a fire addition to the journey. It apparently warns us when we're in danger, like Spidey Sense, so we will know when we need to dodge incoming fire. And it unlocks new abilities for Redline as their relationship grows and they become more attuned. And if you thought that Spidey Sense comment was just a witty reference, I'd love to take credit for it, but uh, then I'd be kind of fake, like me and Kyle's marriage, the plastics and mean girls, or or BBLs. The booties? Nah. The big beef lick. Hey, oh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That was where the V boogie. But the reason I can't take credit for it is because COO and producer of Spine, Dmitry Pimenov, said it first in a direct reference to Insomniac's Marvel Spider Man as a direct inspiration. He also name dropped Slow Clap Sifu, the work of John Woo, John Wick. The Matrix and Equilibrium. If you've watched the Yonkos vids for a while, you know I've mentioned all of these at some point, mostly when discussing seafood. Now call me prophetic. You prof Nah, don't, don't do it. I ain't trying to get struck down. True, true. Yeah. In a couple of direct quotes, he says, It's a superhero experience, like in Spider Man, where you move between different opponents and feel overpowered. And in the next quote, Then Sifu, we take some of the movie aesthetics from games like this and John Wick, we like his close quarter gun choreography. So, if you don't know, now you know. Uninspired Spine. But, let me tell y'all what I don't like. It feels like folks are questioning the fluidity of the animations for what we've seen so far, and no shot at you, my Miss Catherine Castle, who made this engaging and informative article. We appreciate you, and this isn't only at you, it's at all the birds on X who be tweeting too. But once we've acknowledged that a lot of what we've seen is alpha or pre-alpha footage, we have to have also have acknowledged that it's not finished baking in the oven yet. Shit feels like folks on standby ready to jump in to hate Double Dutch, but your Izzy Daniels clones. And here I am thinking they only did that to Tyrone. Basically, you don't look at a bowl of seasoned raw uncooked chicken and compare it to a bucket of beautifully baked chicken. The raw seasoned chicken that is spine will be beautifully baked by sometime in 2025. Let's let Nicky cook. We don't need written lines like spine looks like it could be quite the spectacle, even if some of the very early and extremely work in progress footage I see during my presentation makes it clear there's still a lot of work left to go on the game. Despite the polished choreography seen in this new trailer, feels like a backhanded compliment, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, let's not wait to hate. When it's time to rate, Redline will have about 8 38s, 9 9s, 10 Mac 10s. This shit's never ends, and I'm ready to spend. Yo, Neki, just drop the price point on our heads, you know, bounty ish. We'll be there to collect. But, all that aside, Piminov has also informed us that Spine will have a casual learning curve, which some folks would debate makes it feel more approachable than some of its inspiration, aka Sifu. It's of no surprise to those of us who have been following Spine that you'll be able to take out enemies from both afar and close up, and apparently the execution of close quarters combat will cause the camera to swoop in close with cinematic flair, not unlike Sifu in Wanted. And as stated by Catherine Castle, in addition to punches and kicks, Redline can also steal enemy weapons and turn them against their previous owners. However, we aren't sure if Redline gets to keep those weapons she flips on the enemies, mostly because from one scene to the next, Redline goes from taking the enemy's weapon and clapping them with it to only having her pistol again. But 
We don't know the sequence of these scenes. We could have stepped in a premonition, in which case, Redline is Sandra Bullock. What's also kind of dope is that Redline will have spray cans she can utilize to unleash a circular blast of graffiti paint dazing nearby enemies so she can leap out of danger. I don't know about y'all, but that kind of reminds me of the explosive gel from the Batman and Arkham series, but maybe I'm bugging. They operate a little differently, but still. Apparently, that's not the only use of her spray cans. <laughs> as she can use them to deface property as an ongoing side quest throughout the game. As for the last few things confirmed by Pimenov about Spine, the environments are destructible. We'll even be able to throw chairs, tables, and bottles. The second thing is between missions, we will be operating out of a hub with NPCs and new opportunities and chances for missions, which seems to resemble the ship in EA's Jedi series. Except. It was a little creepier than that. Yo, between our friend Tony and Scatman Carruthers, we've been warned about operating out of an abandoned hotel. I've seen the shiny, but apparently Neki hadn't heeded this warning. Cuz, that's exactly what we do. The hub is an abandoned hotel. I see right through you, Neki. Y'all trying to scare us, but we won't get too deep as Tony gets sensitive about being transparent. What is great about this hub is this is where we'll be able to upgrade our spine and train in the shooting range the last thing that we know about spine is that this is probably just the beginning pim and i have stated that if everything goes well they're already planned a sequel and dlc as well as some spin-offs and there's already a web comic available which your boy has started to read a little bit of and if y'all want to check it out link will be in the description but i love y'all and it's been a minute but spine's gonna be really crazy i mean straight heat <laughs> But don't hate me, y'all. I really miss y'all, for real. I mean, 2024 has been crazy as hell. We not even halfway through this bitch. I blame Cat. Who y'all blame?